Today was a busy day in college athletics as seven schools around the country announced conference affiliations, and it's not over yet. Even though Conference USA added five teams today, bringing their total to 13 schools, they want more. Some conference schools would like to add as many as three more programs to Conference USA, including Old Dominion. ODU officials are still crunching the numbers. President John Broderick does not want to raise tuition or add much to the student activities fee to finance the move to Division I football. But a week from today, Broderick is expected to ask Athletic Director Dr. Wood Sealing to lay it all out to the school's Board of Visitors. Now, if the board gives its blessing, Old Dominion may join Conference USA after all. Just down the road in Greenville, North Carolina, Chancellor Steve Ballard from East Carolina, the closest USA Conference school to Old Dominion, admits that Conference USA isn't finished growing, and he would just love to have Old Dominion as one of the Pirates' new rivals. Obviously, we've gone from 8 to uh, 13 now. We think we'll go to 14 within a couple weeks. Uh, Old Dominion is seriously considering this. We hope they join. If not, we think there are other schools that will. Well, I agree with the commissioner or the chancellor there. I think there is still a very good chance that this could happen. Old Dominion joining Conference USA. Stay with us next week for more. With conference realignment talks in the sports headlines these days, and with Old Dominion talking about moving to Conference USA, we felt it was a good time to dig into the sports rap vault and look back at ODU's move out of the Sun Belt Conference. Remember those days? Brian Parsons has that story. Conference changes have been happening since the beginning of college athletics and 22 years ago, Old Dominion faced with a decision to make. Old Dominion University in the next academic year uh, will enter the Colonial uh, Conference. After floundering in the Sun Belt, ODU made the move to the more geographically friendly Colonial Athletic Association. Then athletic director Dr. Jim Jarrett offered his assessment on the move. The more we looked and the more we talked, the more it became apparent that they were interested and we were interested, and uh, so here we are. There was no ODU football in 1990, so basketball was the prime motivator in the move out of the Sun Belt. The coaches at the time, Tom Young and Wendy Larry. I'm excited about it, and I think it's uh, a good move, and, and I, I get a feel from the people I've talked to, uh, our fans and alums, that I think they agree to that. We will do nothing different. We will schedule the Texases, we will schedule the Louisiana Techs and the Tennessees and the Marylands, and, and those schools that have in the past always provided us with the, the best competition in the country. Tom Yeager is the only commissioner the CAA has ever had, and while the league currently faces an uncertain future, Things looked bright with the addition of the Monarchs. I think it, it helps add a, a major state university in a major metropolitan area into a, an existing uh, intense rivalry situation. So that's how it went down 22 years ago. Now the university has to figure out if a move to Conference USA is as appealing as joining the CAA was in 1990. Reporting for the Sports Wrap, I'm Brian Parsons.